Hey, welcome back to Tiger's 5,000th attempt at this challenge. We're in the middle of this bullshit coin bouncing thing. He's doing very well for himself, I must say. Oh, it's oh, Barry, 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 Barry! Oh, oh no! My no. water! I was gonna drink now that! The floor Instead, is, the floor is drinking it's it! It's slightly wetter and, and everybody's upset. At least it was just water. Wow, that was a lot of As water. As opposed to those cupfuls of caviar you normally have I'm gonna here. move the mic a little bit. Just to make sure that no cabling is just sitting in water. I mean, I mean, it's fine. It's insulated, but how how much did you spill? Like half a cup. Oh, that's a lot. Which was more than a cup in terms of measuring. Why do we have that? Why do we call a cup a cup, and then a cup is also a unit of measurement? It's like we 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 it's don't. Better than what? What is it's your like, favorite? It's like it's like it's not like we have a cup that we call a gallon. What's your favorite unit of measurement? Mine is the hogshead. Mine is the barley corn. Do you like a, a, a magnum? What's a magnum? Yeah, it's like some measurement of wine. I believe it's two bottles. Whoa! Maybe it's four That's though. Badass. Yeah. I'll have a magnum. Like of you wine. know when you go into the the wine store and there's like those giant ass bottles of like Gallo wine, hmm. like the cheapest wine ever. Mm -hmm. And some box uh, wine. Yeah. Really and good it's box like, wine from like, current That's year. like twice the size of a normal. You bottle. know it's a fresh wine when the date is next year. Yeah. That's how you know it's good. I'm not gonna lie. We have a box of Chardonnay in our fridge right now, and I drank some the other day when I got home from work, and I'm like, this is the oldest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Have a, a that's, glass of box that's Chardonnay. That's what us kids like to call old cool. Yeah. Wearing Bring my it back. dad shirt with my beard. Oh, bro, we haven't done beard talk. Oh, fuck. I, I have beard talk. maintenance questions. I'm going to rub my you. beard against the mic for a little bit. Yeah. Did I tell you now that oh, I. Oh, shh. You hear that? Yeah. Wow. That's the sound of the mic stand moving, probably. Now that I have a beard, I am uh, determined to begin more sentences with the phrase, By my beard! <laughs> By my beard, By you're Thor's bad at this beard. game, Barry! By Thor's beard! By my beard, this game sucks dicks! By Odin's beard! Oh no, I got sprung back! Oh! You'll be interested in this. You're a big Douglas Adams fan, like I am. Of course. I just reread both Dirk Gently novels. Really? Yep, just in the last week. I've been reading Dirk Gently... Uh, for the first time, almost done with it. Really? It's taken me a long were we, time. Were we reading Dirk Gently at the same time? Probably. The first one, the Holistic Detective Agency? Yes. Yeah, I also bought, uh, Tea Time of the Soul, but I haven't finished it. Uh, well, I haven't started it because I haven't finished Dirk Gently yet, but mm -hmm. I'm really enjoying it. I love the- It's really fun. Yeah, the, the first book is awesome. The second book, I'm not as- I feel like it doesn't quite wrap up as well. Um, hmm. but it's, uh, the first book is- Ridiculously great, and I have to say, what's crazy to me is I first read these books when I was just a kid. Wow, well done. Um, thank you. By the way, with Ghost Whack, and it was amazing to me, like how many I prop literally read Long Dark Tea Time with Soul last when it came out, like '88 or whenever that was, mm -hmm. and I had very specific memories of stuff that happened in it, and hmm. it was shocking to me. Wow, like I had, like that these things were still in my brain somewhere. That's awesome. Like I'd be like, oh, I think I know what's about to happen, and then it did. That's called foresight. Yeah. It's called me being a uh, huge shit. nerd when I was a kid and memorizing Douglas Adams books yeah. also. Mm. Computer's mm. bad at this mm. game. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I love uh, Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. The first there's book I think something... is, a, is a masterpiece. I love it. Yeah, there's just something about the way Douglas Adams does reveals. Yeah, exactly. Where he, like, he kind of tells you... I don't... It, it's hard to say without actually just spoiling something. Yeah, I don't want to do that because they're great books, but they'll just be like, oh, by the way, here's some crazy bullshit. And you're like, what the, what? And then the next chapter will be yep. some complete non sequitur, and you're like, no, but you just said some crazy bullshit about, like, time travel or some shit. Like, yep. go back to that. And like, he, especially in Hitchhikers, they'll be like, oh, yeah, like, this insane thing, by the way. Thank you. And what I love is he, he parses out information earlier in the book that then when you sort mm -hmm. of know what's up and you reread it, you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been, I was very confused for probably the first half of Dirk Gently. Also because Dirk Gently, the character, Doesn't isn't show in up. it for yeah, a very for long like time. like the first third of the book. And you're, right. like, le le reading about programmers and college professors and yeah. electric monks and horses. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're like, what the fuck? things that happening on, an, uh, like, a distant planet. You yeah, know and you're like, is. I didn't think this was sci-fi. But I guess it is, but it's not. It's in London in the 80s, and yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, um, it's not okay. It's not a spoiler. Wow, but just as, I an, as an example, suck at this game this, now. The, the game sucks. Don't worry about it. Um, so there's the part where where Dirk uh, hypnotizes Richard. Yep. And th they skip over the hypnotizing section yes. where they like they're talking, and they just cut back later, and they're like going for a walk, and. Um, he's kind of like, yeah, you know, I think the hypnotist is kind of bullshit, whatever, mm -hmm. and. 
and Dirk's like, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way, whatever. And they're walking along uh, a river, and and Dirk says some crazy... About his great aunt that lives in... where was it? <sighs> some British Somewhere, something. Coventry or something. Yeah, he's like, oh, but that's my great aunt, great aunt lives in Coventry. And then Richard takes off all his clothing and jumps into the river. Yep. And, oh, what am I gonna do? And he can't swim, and then Dirk pulls him out, and he's like, why'd you do that? And he's like, oh, I just wanted to go for a swim. He's like, in the disgusting trash-filled creek, and he's like, yeah. no, you know, I thought that it, you know, made a lot of sense. And he's like, well, I hypnotized you to do that, and like... I'm doing a really bad job of selling you this, really but are. It, it, it's really good when he does it. Because it, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's the twofold thing of like, he does this insane thing in a very logical fashion. Yep. And then Dirk kind of spins it on the other character, Richard. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's wordplay at its finest. It's yeah. just, he plays with the words. He's, a, he's an awesome writer, he's a, just a very funny writer. He uses language really well, wow, which is basically what it means, I guess, to be a good writer. So that's kind of yeah. an empty statement. But, um... He just has this very British, uh, droll sense of humor. So British. Which is the absolute Yeah, just sure, sure, stay, take all my money, Raiko. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, I, I was- it's, I didn't realize you were reading those two. I just- Yeah. I was- I, like, literally, I was sitting down in a chair just next to a bookshelf, and I pulled it off the shelf, and I was like, oh, I haven't read that in a while. Nice. And that was last week. Nice. Um, yeah. yeah well, because I usually bring, uh, a book with me when I'm- when I'm traveling by plane. Mm -hmm, as do I, as do I. Um... And my problem is, I'll read a lot of a book while I'm flying, and then I'll get back, yeah. and then I'll get distracted by, like, video games and Netflix, and I'll be like, I don't have time for a book. I'm a busy man with Web 2.0 things to do. I just started, uh, Carl Ovenauskard's My Struggle, Ooh. which is a six-volume series. Ooh, uh, goodness he gracious. is Norwegian, but lives in Sweden, I believe, and it's wow. this very sort of, uh, it, I don't know if it's... Fictionalized, or if, I mean, it's it's sort of an autobiography, but I don't know if it's actually partly fiction. Mm. Uh, I'm like ten pages in, and it's awesome. I mean, people rave about it. Sure. So it originally written in Norwegian and just translated, but it's great. Carla, Carl Ove Nausgaard, hmm. uh, My Struggle, which of course, do you know what uh, is also famously My Struggle? Mein Kampf. That's correct. So a little <laughs> bit of a, a bad boy title there. A bad boy title. Yeah. Mmm. Don't judge this book by Ooh. its title. Hey, Barry. Oh, no! Hey, what? See you later. Smell my farts. Oh, I am. Enjoy that store square, buddy. It's hot in this room, bro. It is toasty. Oh, what I am, am I doing? sweating. What uh, am I doing? Next. Yeah, I also... I, I, I bought a couple... Oh, for, um, for I bought a couple audiobooks that I hope to listen to. Oh, wait. To. Did I just... Oh, yeah. There you go. That was actually a really smart move on my part. That was part. a really good move. Because you, you, we were all on your way. Yeah. See you later. See you later. See you later. Keep moving. Oh, we're, oh, we're almost at the end here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Store! What could possible- what amazing bullshit can could possibly be at the end? forward? Yeah, I can. Boop. There we go! Oh, you're on the big chair. Big old chair. Did it. Does that mean I win? I think I it don't does. Think so. I don't think so. I don't I think, think it means I won. Does it? At the beginning of the game, it was like, first person at the end wins. I don't think you're at the Which end yet. Which means Barry wins! Barry does not Which win. Which means Barry wins! Barry's not at the Which end. Which means Barry won! Did the game say Barry won? When the game says Barry won, then Barry well, won. Well, the game's gonna say Alteroth won, or whatever the fuck. Well, from those... Apotinoth? I think I'm just Challenge listing for... stuff from Monster Hunter now. What did I call Soul Death Calibur Fruit. by accident? Soul, Soul Catcher? Soul Catcher. There's definitely a character in Soul Calibur whose name is similar to the word Volva. And he's a very upsetting character, mm -hmm. as you would expect from such a name. Why? Volvas are great. I didn't Barry. say that. Barry. Oh, wait. I didn't is, say that. What, what are you saying? I didn't- what- are, Hit X, buddy. We have to vend a fruit. I just don't like, uh, your misogyny. I- what? Barry, there's nothing gross or unnatural about female anatomy, just like- I didn't say that. Yeah, you, know, you certainly implied it. Hey, natural and gross are not mutually inclusive. Bro, I have a baby. I think I know. <laughs> Gross. Everything about that baby is the grossest thing I've ever seen, but it's totally natural. Yeah, so I'm saying, just because something's natural doesn't mean it can't be gross. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. me saying something is gross doesn't mean, oh my god, that's a bad thing. It's like, whatever. Most of I'm dude- saying, most of male junk is gross. I just- bro, it just sounded to me a, a little bit afraid. I don't remember if it was- A little, little bit afraid. It might have been, um, a Robin Williams bit? That- or maybe it was Patton Oswalt, I don't fucking remember, but it was some bit about God making- all, all these all our people. junk. Yeah, I mean specifically the junk. Oh fuck this game. Um, and the bit was 
Like, oh, I'm time to make the testicles. Oh, we have some spare rooster neck lying around. <laughs> yes, that should do nicely. I think I'll take an early lunch. You know, like that kind of thing. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. Though the Pat Oswald was um, oh, what was he? he was talking about old person sex, and or no, it was an old person, gi an old woman giving birth, and it was like. Oh, what was the line? It was like, it's like pushing a a, a Cornish hen through, <laughs> through a, a roast, roast beef curtains or something. That's just like, awesome. ugh, ugh. Just, I, just, I just read his book, Silver Screen Fiend. How is it? It's good. I really like it. Oh, good. I By the way, I'm pretty like... sure I won because I am still firmly in first place. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, buy some raffle tickets. That's sure to pay off. Not. You see my sick burn there? I got you, Brian. I yeah, got you, you good. Got see, you're not you at the end. Got. You're not at the end, are oh, you? Fuck. Are you? Are you, asshole? Time for the raffle. Are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, what the shit? I'm amazing at games. You're a maniac. Maniac. And you I'm suck. amazing at Pac-Man. I'm a maniac. Oh, bye, Ryko. Wow. Do we have to wait till everyone finishes? Because if so, that just sucked. Yeah. Oh, she still have your muns, bro! How uh, are you gonna recover from that? Uncool. Probably a bunch of bullshit. I'm gonna pack slap her. Oh man, she's gonna still have your muns again! Oh no, that's- that's Tiger this time. My bad. I'm really bummed that Friends trivia game Oh, well, we're not work. at the finish. Oh my god. I told you! What, Barry? We're- we're a couple Have you not been away. listening to me? What? Yeah, exactly. Abduction. It's your favorite game, Brian. Alien Abduction. Alien education. <laughs> we are here to educate you. You have to teach the aliens about stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, whoever alien students pass the test the best get the highest score. But you have to—you can't teach wins. them to the test. You got to teach them about. Bro, the I know principles. how to teach aliens. I taught in England. Wow! Wow! They're basically a bunch of aliens. Wow! They're aliens. Wow, Brian! I didn't. Not say PC. Uh, they they're, are called extraterrestrials. They're extra Americans. <laughs> extra Americans. Wait, so everyone who's not American is an alien to you? Correct. Ah, uh, that's not wrong. Oh no, the aliens blew up inside of me. That's mean. Come on guys, just let me abduct you and stop exploding for like 10 seconds. Yeah. Or 3 seconds, whatever. Whichever comes first. Aww. Oh. Did I win? You won. Oh fuck. Congratulations. Space is 1-5. It really means a Bro. lot. Bro! You know, if if Pac-Man Fever is taught me anything, happening right now? if Pac-Man if Pac-Man Fever is taught me anything, it's that Cherry everything matters. Yeah, of course it matters. Come on, land on me, land on me. Yeah, what did I win? Nothing. Probably nothing. Move complete. That's what you won. Banana. Is there any way to stop you now? I am unstoppable, literally unstoppable, as I always have been, because everyone knows the Apotenoth Creed. What the fuck is that? Ugh. Now have to wait for these assholes to complete their turn. Yeah. Oh, please don't move us back. Please don't move us back. Please don't move us back. Oh, you can't. I'm just gonna catch up. And, like an idiot, go backwards again. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, no. She's there. Like an idiot, I cannot count to four. Do it right now, Barry. One. Blue. The other day in the car, we asked Audrey to... We were like, we'll be home in ten minutes. And Rachel said, Audrey, can you count to ten minutes? And Audrey went, one, two, three for 10 minutes. <laughs> we both cracked up. Oh, uh, that's great. I, I learned recently that, um, apparently, I never even thought about this, apparently it's a West Coast, specifically a Los Angeles thing, to measure distance and time. What do you mean? In the East Coast, in the, in the Midwest, people say, oh, that's like about five miles away. In LA, we say, that's about 10 minutes away. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, huh. we do. I never thought about if that. I was like, how far is it to get to the store? You'd be like, oh, it's like I would say I would say time stuff at home. Would you? Yeah. I don't know. I was talking to someone recently from the Midwest, and they're like, "Yeah, that's that's a classic LA thing." And I was like, "I feel like I'm being huh. labeled and marginalized," and you're not wrong. I had no idea. Yeah, because I rarely reference things as distance in LA. Because it's it's almost useless because like five miles in one direction. And five miles in another direction can be drastically different things. That is very true. Stuck! Oh no, I'm <laughs> stuck, and you're stuck. Why does so we're all stuck. what does that mean? So are we just we're just waiting for the inevitable death? I don't know. The sweet release of death. Ugh. Please. I cannot wait to shuffle off this mortal coil. You need to rank at least what? Oh, you have to get third place. 
I don't have to get first place in a minigame. Oh. This is the crunch. I get it now, This Barry. is the first part of this entire game where our things, the things we're doing actually matter. Yeah. Wow, that's bullshit. So I have to get first place in a minigame. Yeah, bro. I hope it's the, um... Coin what's toss my What's dump. my name? Astaroth. Astaroth. The, the who's the best Astaroth challenge. Oh, man. Dude, you're tied with Tiger. Two back. Four back. Dude, it, this uh, is anyone's ball. game. And by anyone's game, the I mean, literal bro, worst. Wait, wait, before we start this, can I read? Oh, no, this is just baseball. I thought it was the one where you had to roll into those spaces. I had oh, no idea yeah. how that one worked. No, I don't either. This one I've never won. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate baseball mini games and video games. You can't throw a pitch that slow, ghost. It's not possible. It's not possible. There's not even a shadow to help you gauge the distance. I know, and it's hard to tell how fast it's coming. Oh, God. I feel like I'm at a distinct disadvantage being Compared on the to the here. computer, which has five times our score. Yeah. Also, if he throws a bunch of fast pitches, you get more pitches in in the same amount of time. I don't I don't believe this game is bounced. Yeah, and I lost. <gasps> I, got, I got at least third. Great. Great. Fuck. Damn it. Uh, my lead, my... Precious liege! Oh, I thought you were about to call me my liege. My liege! Come and join me, my liege. Oh, am I still a space ahead of you? Yeah. Oh, well, fuck you. My beautiful lead! I still have my lead! Rank first. Gotta rank first. Can do. Can do. Will do. Well, Barry, what, what's your game here? What's your mini game? What's my mini game? Um, n literally none of them. They're all bullshit. Every single one of them. Uh, yeah, that guy. He, okay, he's on this. I think I've done pretty well at the the weird uh, space Tiger. soccer one. Oh yeah, you have. But I've also randomly lost. You're talking about one. space ball. I'm talking about space ball. Oh, we're almost done with this, Barry. Yeah, I know. My this loins is... are quivering in anticipation. I like how the only thing about Pac-Man, the only thing this relates to Pac-Man okay, about on. this game, is that Pac-Man's in it. Yeah. Okay. Rolling your ball over. Now, now that ball. the stakes matter, you're actually hold on. No, no, it's this one. No, it's this one. Brian. I'm not doing anything, Barry. This one. I can hear your stick and <laughs> I'm, see I'm, your I'm, thumb. I swear I'm not doing it. Okay, fine. Then you're not gonna know which which uh, one you want to get into. It's red. The answer is red. Get three points for each red hole. Which is actually a lot easier. <laughs> oh, boy. You sure said it. Oh, fuck. Those bounce you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm getting points without even meaning to. I'm that good at video games. Wow, this game. Is really good. No guy here with your shit, Tiger. Yeah, yeah. How you like my points now, Tiger? What are you gonna do when you lose, Tiger? You gonna crawl into your little tiger den? Tigers live in dens, right? Well, you're gonna yeah. lose your den. I think they, they live and in, I still in lost. tiger holes. Fuck me. Oh yeah, in bro. See, the look. Earlobe. You, you, and I and Tiger are all tied now. Great, and I have. I think I've gotten third or fourth place. Oh, uh, what what happened to Barry Wins? Um, you pretentious fuck. Well, I wow. Tell me how you really feel. Man. Good news. I bet Reiko is gonna win because she came in last place and she's swooping up through the minor leagues. Barry, I'm sorry I called you a pretentious fuck, but I no, do you're not. think I do think you over uh, overstated your capabilities. Well, excuse me for not understanding the basic principles of how the game works. Yeah, that's because you didn't pause to read the directions. What a shock on Game Grumps. We didn't pause to read the directions of a game. Who would have ever thought? I don't see any directions when I pause. Just continue or quit. Quit. <laughs> we <laughs> should quit, quit right here. <laughs> and I win! Ah, fuck darts. Shit. Alright. It all comes down to darts. Like it does every time. Always coming down to darts. Back when I lost my paw to a game of darts. Paw. We, we, we played darts to see who would keep them. Did I ever tell you about the time I lost my paw in a game of darts? Yeah, you just mentioned that. It was a pretty good time. Pretty lonesome time, pretty dark time, but a good time nonetheless, because darts is a lot of fun. Space darts you talking about? Well, space darts is hard because, you know... Did you win? You won! Oh! Barry! Oh! Did, did, did you win-win, though? Oh! I think you have one more space. Oh! Oh! No, I think that's it! No, I think that's it! I don't think so. No, I think, I think that's it! I think that one! I think oh! oh, you did! Oh, Barry wins! Oh! Now, now it's legit. Whoa. Now it's legit. Whoa. Oh my god. Those balloons! I'm gonna cut up those balloons with my big ol' axe! Good job, Barry. Because I'm everyone's favorite Soul Calibur character. 
Not the spiky dude or the, the girl with win. the butt. Now, can you say it now? Say it. Astaroth wins. Thanks, fucking God. And Pac Man's just happy to be there. Yep, he's Pac happy. Holy. Press X. Let's see. Oh, crap. that's it. We're done. Wow, look at that. Look at this game. Oh, wow. This game was really good, Brian. Yeah, I can't if believe- If you had to rate this game, what would you give it? Zero. Out of? Zero. Is that possible? It's undefined, bitch. What? Nice. Alright, well, next time on Grub King. Next time on- Never this game again. Okay, Never nope. this game. Fuck you, Pac-Man fever. If you watched all five episodes of this, congratulations. We owe you a hundred dollars. Signed, Brian Wecht. Nope. Individual from his oh, account. Actually, you know what? Danny owes you a hundred dollars. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, Danny. Oh, Danny's not gonna like that.